Hey, what's going on guys? It's that big guy here again today, and today we got some exciting news. Patch 6.2 is out, and there's a lot of content to go with it, so let's get into it. So first off, we got Zone Unlocked, the Invasion of Tanan Jungle. Finally, the last zone of Draenor is out, Tanan Jungle, and new garrison feature, Shipyard and Naval Missions. So they finally give us a boat, we are allowed to do some naval stuff, it looks really cool. Characters with level 3 garrison can now construct a shipyard. To begin the path to construction of the shipyard, report here garrison for the war council. There's a lot more information, we got the new raid, Hellfire Citadel. Now most of us know Hellfire Citadel from Burning Crusade. It was a bunch of dungeons and there was a raid. At the very end of it, it looks really cool. I've actually got some footage of it in the video playing in the background three major bosses okay that i want to mention you know like an honorable mention kelrog deadeye you know the last warlord other than grom hellscream a reanimated memoroth so they've been practicing with necromancy and archimon is going to be in the raid himself the last time we encountered archimon was in um what was that raid in bc mount hyjal and he was destroyed, so we get a second shot at him again, which is, you know, kind of whatever. I mean, it's an old boss, but in the new dungeon, so goes with the whole Warlords, you know, time displacement thing. And we got new dungeon difficulty. This is the one I'm most excited about because I'm more of a five-man kind of guy, you know, dungeons and all that good stuff. Mythic difficulty. That's pretty epic. They're going to be with gear 680 gear. Chances at the you know the end boss to drop 700, so it's like a mini raid, which is a cool thing because I prefer to do five mans over the you know the LFR and you know you know you can take a group of five of your friends go into the mythic and it'll be like raiding again, getting good gear and still having a little bit of a brawl. It's going to be a little bit difficult, you know. It's not going to be the joke that the heroics are right now. There's the legendary quest. We'll finish with this. Finish the legendary quest. More information will be added in the you know development. Oh, also, you know, I like to say there's going to be a lot of spoilers in this video. We're already pretty much into it now. And also, a lot of the PTR stuff will change. So none of it's canon yet. There's a lot of placeholders, a lot of stuff, you know, like the even the legendary rings. That was from an old build. They're going to be updating it. I will show you what I'm talking about in the video right now. So, and something else that I caught on to that's not in the patch notes from where I've read so far is the Lost Time Walker Wrath of the Lich King dungeon. Now, I will show you what I mean in the video. It's something interesting. Um, a lot of people are speculating that they are rising Lich King dungeons to scale to level 100. So, that's kind of interesting. It's nowhere in the patches that I've seen so far. It's something very interesting to look at, and and you got to remember this is the PTR. A lot of the stuff, you know, it may get chopped out. That's probably why they didn't put it onto the patch notes. Something may, they may save for later, or it's something that they're working on and they're just now adding it into the patch because they've probably been working on this for a while now. So this is it for this video. This is some of the highlights of the patch 6.2, you know, some of the major stuff. All the information I got in this video is from MMO Champion, Wellhead, and the Blizzard Patch Note Center. So the Patch Note Center, I'm not even sure if that's what it's called. But I will put all the links in the description. And the footage I got is from the PTR. I, you know, I copied the character onto the PTR to see more. Please like and subscribe for more because I will be having and getting a lot more information than I do have now. Now. I also do a lot of lore videos, a lot of Heroes of the Storm videos, and as always guys, you stay classy.